The beaches of Busan are officially open and people are flocking to them. South Koreans are among the world's top spenders on overseas travel, but most this summer are looking to vacation a lot closer to home. And still following strict rules to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Beach umbrellas are individually numbered, so people hiring them can be traced in case they were close to someone found later to be infected. For the Lee family, this summer break is a new experience. We often go abroad in summer, but we can't do that this time, so we decide on Busan. They've also decided to come earlier than normal. A majority of people in South Korea take their summer vacations in a narrow window from late July into early August, but companies are now being encouraged to spread holidays out to avoid overcrowding in the most popular tourist destinations. Busan relies heavily on its summer season, and local people are compensating for the lack of international visitors, especially from neighboring China and Japan. With only a handful of new cases of infections being reported, Busan can also host festivals again. At the opening of this annual food and film event, frontline medical staff are honored for making it possible. The theme this year, food as a source of healing. Cultural life has suffered in this pandemic. If we don't revitalize it, then people will face more alienation and depression. We want to heal our audiences through culture. Life is still far from normal, but many here see this further careful reopening as a reward for South Korea's steady progress against the virus. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Busan, South Korea.